Okay, welcome back to Miss Dias at the channel with me, Miss Dias. Okay, previously you have uh, watched a video about the structure of a paragraph. In that video, you know that there are three basic parts of a paragraph. There is a topic sentence, and then supporting sentence, and the last is concluding sentence. Now, um, we will move to the development of a paragraph. Yeah, after you... Uh, write down the topic sentence. Now you need to develop uh, your paragraph or to support your topic sentence uh, by the supporting sentences. Okay, there are three common ways to develop a paragraph. Okay, the first one is by giving details and then you can also giving explanation and the last is by giving examples. Okay, these three ways uh, can be uh, used um, so maybe one by one, maybe in the first paragraph you will use details and then the next explanation and then another uh, paragraph you can use examples, okay? Or you can mix it all in a paragraph, okay? You can choose which one do you prefer to use. Okay, let me tell you one by one what the meaning of details. Here, uh, details mean the specific point that tell more about a general statement okay um in a paragraph uh, you do develop the paragraph uh, developing the paragraph by giving details or make the supporting sentence uh, which is the type is uh, giving details okay for example mm, let me show you a brochure Okay, this brochure is about Atlas Hope Center. Okay, this is a Hope Club. Okay, in this brochure, we can see that uh, the brochure contains some details about why people should love uh, working out in this uh, Hope Center. Mm, there are some uh, details here, mm, some reason why, because maybe the equipment uh, in large uh, is large and then after that air condition uh, room because of um, or you can do it with friends or you can choose a variation of uh, working out there and many things okay that's the way how you support your uh, topic sentence by giving details okay next you can develop your paragraph or support your um, topic sentence by giving explanation. Explanation here means that um, um, explanation tells what something means or how something works. You give explanation. You give um, you give extra information about what do you mean in the uh, thesis uh, sentence. Okay, um, you give not the details but uh, longer than details that's explanation how to uh, how to do this or how it can happen or yeah explanation okay you understand okay uh, for example in this um, paragraph can you see the explanation used by the writer okay can you help me uh, to underline the topic sentence after that uh, so please tell me the, in the comment box below which one is the explanation, okay? Next, another uh, kind of uh, the way of developing paragraph is by giving example, okay? Um, maybe uh, you think that uh, you have already given the details to support your topic sentence, already explain uh, the things, and then also you can give example. For example, uh, like this, for example, like that, okay? Uh, yeah, example here means that a specific person, place, thing, or event that supports an idea or statement, okay? You can give illustration also in example, okay? Uh, in this paragraph, the example of this paragraph, you can clearly see which one is the example, although I don't, yeah, put any mark on this or underline this, okay? This is the signal of example. You can see it or you can find another example in this paragraph. 
tell me if you find another example. Okay, that's uh, those are three ways how to develop a paragraph by giving details, by giving explanation, and by giving example. Okay, so now you know how to make a supporting sentence to support your topic sentence. Yeah, now. After you know how to make a, or identify a topic sentence, then develop your paragraph. And now it's time to end your paragraph by having a concluding sentence. Okay. Once again, let me tell you that the final sentence of a paragraph is called concluding sentence. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. This is the last sentence in your paragraph. It sums up the main points or it states the main idea in different way. Once again, it sum up the main points or restate the main idea in different way. Okay, please don't rewrite your topic sentence in the same way, yeah, um, in concluding sentence, okay? Don't copy paste uh, the topic sentence, but try to uh, make it in different way. Okay, sentence that uh, sums up in paragraph reminds the reader of what the writer's my idea and supporting points here. Okay, the purpose of having having this um, concluding sentence is to remind the, your reader about uh, your topic sentence. Okay, and then next uh, the sentence that. If we state the main idea should have the same information in slightly different way, perhaps by using different words or by using different word order. Okay, the way how you make it different with your topic sentence, okay, here stated by using different words, okay, maybe the synonym of the, <clears throat> the word in topic sentence or by using different word order. Okay, maybe you can like switch the subject to object or object to subject mm, from active to passive, or yeah, you can uh, do uh, many ways to, uh, to make your concluding sentence um, uh, not the same with the topic sentence. Okay, make it slightly different. Okay, the last a concluding sentence should not introduce a new topic. Okay. You need to remember that your concluding sentence should not introduce a new topic because you close the paragraph. Okay, then don't start a new topic in a concluding sentence. Okay, stop it there. Okay, stop the paragraph there in concluding sentence. Okay, um, that's all about uh, the explanation how to develop a paragraph and how to end the uh, paragraph okay here is exercise maybe you can do it um, to check whether you really understand about the way how to develop a uh, paragraph and how to end the paragraph okay thank you very much uh, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe this channel okay thank you very much bye bye Thank <music> you.